which I actually can do. I also, one of my other talents is I do write music. I have, you know, I actually can't write, I, I can't, I can play instruments, but I can't write it. So I can record it. And I can create lyrics in, a t in an instant to anything ever written, mm -hmm. because I can BS forever. I can go on and on and on and on. I used to, um, I got stuck in all the school plays when I was in grade school, high school, and college. And I didn't. And what would happen is, hey, you know, he's working. Let's, let's change the role on him. And I'd come in, what do you mean I'm Joseph? Uh, or what do you mean? I, I, I'm, the, I'm the leader of the Jets. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the script. And they said, just dance and, and BS everybody. So we're doing the high school, we're, I'm doing my thing, shows you how old I am, folks. We're doing West Side Story, you know, 60 years ago. I'm doing West Side Story in college, and, um, and you know, and, and then I, you know, we, we get to the rumble scene, and I'm, you know, uh, and then, uh, it's really bad because I was supposed to be the other guy's part. I knew, Maria, there's no one in the world like Maria. And then, I know that song, I don't know the song I'm now supposed to be singing because they figured it was better to have me out there, you know. And, and then they bring up my music and I'm going... to what the Jets were doing. I didn't care what they were doing. I was only concentrating on the fact that my character. So when they changed my role the night that they were coming on, and, and the, you know, here my, my family is all out there. Everybody's family. This is family night. And they're, oh my God, just look at him. You know, and they darkened my blonde hair black. And I'm playing a Latino. Ooh, and I am... Yeah, five foot, that, you, know. you know, nearly five foot eleven inches, and everybody else is down here. I thought, God, that's got to be opposing with that knife. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember that. I, I remember every bad thing that ever happened to me in front of a camera or on stage. So, but um, and they usually pulled the pranks on it by changing the, what was happening. Yeah, they didn't tell you. They wouldn't tell me. I was a floater. I would come in and out, but. Um, it's just that's how I got roles, extra roles on television. I got the first role I ever got in Virginia, because Virginian, because um, um, the actor was supposed to be doing it. <laughs> His kids had the measles, and they said, "Stay the hell away from this set." Oh yeah. And he was he had a he had a minor role every week. So I mean, I was on like about three weeks of episodes. Oh, because his kids had the because measles. Because his kids had the measles. Stay the hell away from this set. Oh, I yeah. had the measles. Stay away. So, but he's getting he's getting this big salary for staying away. I'm getting you know like um, I'm getting like ice cream and hamburger money <laughs> and gas for my. That's what car. happens when your parents work on it. Yeah, and uh, your, your parents, your grandparents. Yeah, and then you know once again, you know, hey, kid. You know, how are your brothers and sisters? I said, they're in good shape. You work today. I didn't do anything. All I did was rode a bloody horse. And, you know, you know, it's just like... Uh, they just don't want sick people around them. They wanted, you know... Because they don't want other people to get sick. But I didn't get his lines. I just got his role. He, I didn't get his money. I just got his role. But uh, he was... They didn't want him. I mean, he, he basically... Because mostly when you get to be an adult and you've already had this stuff, you're really not dangerous. But sometimes you can pass it on. So mm -hmm. it scares the hell out of people in the industry's kids. Mm -hmm. They don't like working with kids. They don't like it if you have kids. Oh, is that one of the reasons? Because you know, because it, the sickness is going around. The sickness going around. I mean, you can that write that. Like I said, uh, look at how many news people actually don't have kids. Oh. They start having them when they get older. 
you know, when I they always get, thought it was because they were focused on their careers. Ah, it's got as much to do with health problems. You cannot. Uh, your kids, unless they're in private schools, are going to be that. around everybody else's kids, and they can bring everything home to you. And your career depends your, upon it, your health. Your health. It's just. I mean, we're sort of going on and on about this, but this is actually extremely important because this has been an ungodly bad year for people in the entertainment industry of all levels. I mean, we're talking on-air talent, behind-air talent, uh, uh, you know, executives, everybody is basically passing one thing to another, to another, to another. And it's just because you're all going to the same events. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I mean, we, we just worry for when she's got to go to the next one and come back sick again at the moment. Mm -hmm. Because she's in, she's doing more and more stuff out there than she's ever been before. And it's also, she's not accustomed to it. Totally not accustomed because it's crappy hours to go to these things. You think that well, yeah. it really is a really miserable job to do because it is this thing where somebody has to do it. You know, well. <laughs> well, it's one of those things because you know I've seen like photographers. Um, a lot of the photographers are not married or engaged because part of it is is their work is if you if you're married to somebody that has an eight to five job. Your work, there's some things that are during the day, but most of them are all at night. Yeah. Right? And so, and then part of it is if you do photos, and people are like, oh, you could do photos. And like, yeah. I said, and remember, if I do photos and post the photos, that remember, you're sitting there, as soon as you finish the party, you get home and you're going, how come my photos aren't up yet? Yeah. Right? That's right. So, then, which means you can't go to the bed. So, you take your pictures. You go home, you post your photos, and then yeah. you go, right? So the like days are all backwards. This is a lot of things. It's just, um, it's, it, in a lot of cases of what we do anymore, like I said, I am 24-7. She, mm -hmm. and you know, I've had to cut her back to where she basically is going to, trying to get her to bed by 12 every night. She, you know, she was, you know, to, you know, she basically all up all night long doing videos, and she deteriorates after she hits a wall. Whereas I hit a wall, you know, I can stay awake till twelve. I'm I'm good until the next day, where she knows, but she can't do that, and it just weakens her down to where she becomes more susceptible. Because if people have paid any attention, she, <clears throat> you know, many times we're doing this. You know, I also get restless. She gets restless, but um, it's just a long piece. But just it, it, it is, you know. Um, uh, it, your health is very important in every business that you're in, but really not as important as it is. Uh, you know, if you're an athlete, you can play sick. A lot of them do. You can't. You can play with some broken parts. Whereas we can't function with being. You know, she can't function. Most other people cannot function with broken parts or sick. Whereas with me, because of my character, this is a character, folks. I actually look a lot younger than than this. But she's got this thing, she makes me look like I'm 80 years old for everybody, you know, with a stomach stuck out the um, year, and I know, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, they, would, like they would believe that one. Oh, yeah. No, they don't think that she, they don't think that I would, yeah, but, um, no. But I will tell you one of the things is in the industry, when um, somebody's there, and they say, you know, I have to go, and they're like, oh, come on, say, and they're like, oh, I have an early call time, mm -hmm. or I have to practice script. People are like, oh, okay, bye. Yeah. They do. I mean, they're whereas gone. if you're other things, people are like, oh, can't you stay longer? But so what? You have to. They're like, okay, bye. Because they know that that's your job and that's your career. It is the, it is the simplest way out mm -hmm. at any function to simply say, I have an early call time. And I'll uh, go, oh, God, you get out of here. You know, mm -hmm. or, or say, you know, I've got, you know, I've got, I've got 12 pages to do tomorrow. I've got to make certain that I'm up. You know, it's just like, you know, or I'm in a soap opera. And you basically, I'm, I'm in a soap opera and I'm featured tomorrow, so. Yeah, they're like, okay, bye. They just go. I mean, you know that they got to go because they, but most of the time they all sit there. Um, basically, most of the people in our industry, which is funny, things don't get going until after most of them should be hitting the bed. I know. Isn't that the funny part? Because, um... It is, um, it is, okay, the sun comes up at 6 o'clock. I'm from the era when, you know, there, uh, you, you know, there wasn't as much crap around outside. These building stuff there, so you could shoot outside in Los Angeles. When the sun came up at 6, you were expected to be there in costume and makeup to work. 
and you know, and that's how it works. So if, if you weren't going to bed until four in the morning, and you've got to be across town at five to be put in makeup, <laughs> yeah, you know, you don't do that often. That's when they say, well, these guys are, you know, they stay out all night boozing. No, they don't, because they can't, they can't show up the next morning with red eyes. And, well, you know, part of it is a lot of events start late. There yeah. are some events where the fashion show is at midnight. Yeah. We don't cover them. It, or they say it's at 11 o'clock, but see, it's like, oh, it's supposed to start at 11? Yeah. yeah, like, by the time the fashion show comes on at 12, it's like... Yeah, and here's a tip. If it's an amazing award show, the business basically doesn't do much the next day. Mm -hmm. That's why they tend to have these things like on, uh, on a weekend, uh, Sunday, or a uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because the next day, I mean, they're not working on Saturdays or Sundays mostly unless they've got a problem. But Monday, if it's a Sunday show on a Monday, basically the people are generally not on call that came in for the show because it's important to go to the show mm -hmm. as a PR thing. But it's uh, your health. And no other business in the world other than our business is health as big a concern. Yeah. Um, you know, we, you know, because she basically figured that I needed to talk about that. I mean, so, and I, I basically did most of the talking so that she didn't have to. You know, <laughs> well, because she's, she well, because I, I don't have her much milk left. And, uh, she didn't have much milk left. I know, she didn't have much milk left. I got bad, I, I'm drinking really bad coffee. I hate coffee. Well, because we were singing karaoke. I should have brought you over there. Oh, you were singing karaoke. You were singing too? Well, no, see. You see, here's part of it. Usually with karaoke, there's a person from the stage, right, and everybody's sitting there. This one is karaoke in a bar, and so they have it on the TVs, and then people sing through the bar. Uh, <coughs> <you mean> <laughs>